Hello, this is David, and today has been one year since Bobby passed away. And I want to do a video for her. This is a picture that we brought from Fort Worth. This was a maple leaf that was sent uh, by uh, someone from New York to Fort Worth where we, she was at. And Dr. Rouse uh, laminated it. And of course, this is Bobby's high school picture. But I want to to talk about that day, one day ago, today. And uh, Bobby was in... Uh, we got up that morning on Saturday the 12th. And uh, Bobby uh, ha was weak like she had been and so she um, went to uh, I shovel snow all day it was snowing that day of all the days we had a big snow and so then I uh, after I got later in the day towards the end of the day Bobby said she wanted to go to the ER so I took her to the ER after getting shoveled out and we went to the ER and of course, ER is it takes a while. And so, uh, after a long time to almost midnight, the ER uh, down here in Elmira uh, decided that they needed to send her to Rochester up here. And so they because of the snowstorm they uh, decided that or the helicopters were grounded so they couldn't drive a helicopter from here to Rochester they couldn't fly it so they had to go by uh, the interstate through here and so they drove through here and um, after midnight, uh, they got somewhere around here, in this area right here, and Bobby had her first heart attack, which means the aorta had already busted. And she had her first heart attack, and so they, she had to go to the nearest hospital. So the ambulance came down here to in Dansville and turned off here to go to the hospital and so she went to this hospital in Dansville and um, after a while they called me and told me what had happened and I knew this was a small hospital and I told the doctor I said you can't do anything for her and you're going to run out of blood you won't have enough blood to keep her alive. And so he called back later and said that her eyes were in the back of her head. At this point, if there would have been a miracle that they could have kept her alive, she would have had a weak heart from the heart attack and be brain dead or severely limited. She wouldn't be the Bobby we knew. And so they called back, back later. It was a nurse and let me know that Bobby had passed away. So she passed away in the early mornings, Sunday, March 13th, one, one year ago from today. And I just want to make a, a video of her. And this is the picture that I keep. And this was so precious to us. This was us at an anniversary. Uh, she had given me a card, and I gave her a card and two small gifts. And she had her coffee mug here. And we could look out the window in the kitchen. And this is my mother's dresser. And this is Bobby's Spoon Collection. And this is the way we loved it. 
And so I want to bring an honor to her. I am thankful for her last kiss before she left. And I wish for one more minute, one more hour with her. And when I walk around, I wished Bobby and I could be together to do a walk with the dog. When I go to a restaurant around here, I wish that Bobby could go with us. But that is torture, and God and Bobby, neither one, wants us to torture ourselves. There's a lot of what ifs, but one of the biggest ones to me is, why did this have to happen on the day they could not uh, get the helicopter to fly her to Rochester? It had to be on that particular day. And that tells me that God's hand was in it. And it was her time to go. And Bobby doesn't want me to torture myself. God doesn't want me to torture myself. Bobby loved her son and Celeste and my son and family in Illinois. And she loved her brothers and sister. And she doesn't want any of them to torture her themselves. To live in the land of if is a terrible place to live. So we need to remember Bobby as being the one uh, that I married that was perfect for me. Uh, she was the one that understood me. And uh, she knew the things I had went through in life. She knew as a child that uh, I was the one that when they choosed upside for any game, baseball or whatever, I was the last one to be picked, and then they would argue over who had to take me. Uh, and she was taught in her education that they... When that got to the last three was just to choose sides and not to let them get to that point where they would fight over someone, not to house someone. But that was me. I was always clumsy and never able to really get things going together right. And uh, I had speech problems. I didn't learn to speak properly until a senior in college. And Bobby helped me. She was perfect for me. I probably wasn't perfect for her. But she was perfect for me. That I would be able to do the things that I do. And I would not have been able to do the things I did without her. And even now, she is still a big help to me. And I want to thank God for her life and the 35 years that she gave us together, that God gave us together, 35, almost 36 years together. I thank God for that. And I thank God for all her family, for our son, for Celeste, and for my family. And I pray you be blessed today. Amen.